How's it going? Jack here from the Darkwater Group. Uh, as a lot of you guys know, people come to me all the time for business recommendations, business promotions. It's kind of like what I do. Uh, I belong to a social network called Nextdoor, and on there, a user recently asked, "Hey, I'm with Verizon. Um, I'm fed up with their prices. Can anybody recommend who I should go with?" So there's a little thing going on right now of who's the best carrier. Well, let me just answer that definitively by saying I'm going to go hard on this one with not my opinion, but with facts, research, and data. Hands down, right now, T-Mobile is the best. Um, now, let's back up a few years. I used to gladly, see, I'm the kind of guy that has to pay whatever it costs to have the very best money can buy. I want the best service, I want the best phone, I want the hottest thing out, whatever it cost. And years ago, that was Verizon. I mean, this is a company that built its brand on network advantage. To me, their defining moment was when I was huddled in the closet during Hurricane Wilma. I had my wife and my uh, child with me, uh, along with her sister. We're all huddled in the uh, master bedroom closet while the Hurricane Wilma outside is ripping the barrel tiles off the roof. I can hear trees fucking snap in um the glass is like about to break due to all the pressure from coming outside uh it was like really scary now during this what was i doing i was on my samsung i730 powered by verizon uh watching the weather channel now after the storm first thing you want to do is you want to call friends family let them know you're okay check out on how they're doing well unfortunately for you if you had metro pcs t-mobile sprint um, AT&T or Verizon, you just couldn't do that. However, I had Verizon, so I had permission to speak freely uh, when all my neighbors who had the other carriers, they couldn't. So to me, that was their defining moment, and that was the main reason why for years I knew I was paying more and I could get a better deal cheaper somewhere else, but I gladly paid that for that reliability. It didn't matter to me. It was service and reliability, I needed to know that when all hell was breaking loose, that I could at the very least pick up my phone and I could make a call. Um, I used to make jokes like the guy that, that can you hear me now guy, um, like it was as if he was like chained to the roof of the building I was on, you know, holding the antenna so I could make a phone call. I mean, it, that's how like reliable the service was. Now, fast forward a few years later to now. That advantage that VZW, Verizon Wireless, has built uh, on network advantage, that advantage is now gone. All the carriers, I don't care if you're going with uh, Metro PCS who rides on the back of uh, T-Mobile, or if you're going with uh, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, or AT&T. They are all pretty much equal. Uh, nobody has a clear-cut advantage anymore. They are all within 1% of each other. So where does that leave you now? That leaves you now to determine who the best is and who you're going to go with is uh, not only who works the best in your area, but also price, service, and that ever so important data. I mean, we live in a 2017 mobile socially engaged world, and to me, data is like more important than, than, than ever. So that's kind of where we're at now. So let's talk about that for a minute. So as far as price goes... Verizon, hands down, most expensive. Sprint, that's going to be your cheapest. Now, while Sprint has the cheapest price, they also have the highest level of customer unsatisfaction. Um, and that's not me saying that. That's J.D. Powers and Associates. That's, do your homework. You'll find PC Magazine, all that. They have the worst. Whereas T-Mobile, on the other hand, they consistently have the highest level of customer satisfaction out of all the carriers. So that's a prize that's um, customer satisfaction of you know, the service. And also now is let's talk about data. Um, if you want to pay the most, you're going to go with Verizon. I mean, they are the king of overages. Nobody charges more for data than them. Um, AT&T is trying to basically get a monopoly on streaming content. Um, they have acquired DirecTV, um, and now they're in the midst of trying to acquire Time Warner Cable or merge with it, so they're kind of losing the wireless game. They haven't added a postpaid customer in months, um, especially if you look at their quarter three um, earnings, it was a disaster. Uh, so that's that. 
Um, whereas, what is T-Mobile doing? Well, ever since uh, John Ledeer, uh became the CEO of T-Mobile US, he has shaken up the entire industry. The rest of the industry is playing catch up and follow the leader. Everything you see all the, all the carriers doing, they're just following what the uncarrier T-Mobile is. And that's kind of what T-Mobile's thing is right now. They're trying to uh, rebrand themselves and they're doing it quite successfully as uh, rebranding themselves as an uncarrier. So uh, first thing that uh, John does as CEO is he says, you know what, contracts, we're getting rid of that, no more. So no longer do you have to be married to your wireless company. Um, I guess they finally figured out that if your product is so good, you're going to want to stay with them, whereas you don't need to be locked in and, you know, and chained up to them anymore. So that's that. Another thing I like that uh, John's done as CEO is uh, he has effectively said data plans are a thing of the past he's killed it that's it it's a wrap end of an error uh because what has he done well first thing he did is uh he came out with something called bin john most of your data that you're using with your wireless carrier is going to be used on streaming music like pandora spotify maybe watching videos on youtube netflix hulu that kind of thing so first thing that uh, john did is he said all right we're, do we're introducing bin john so now whether you're watching videos on uh, Hulu, Netflix, or YouTube, or you're listening to music on Spotify or Pandora, well, listen as much as you want and watch as much as you want because no more will any of that um, have anything to do with your data plan. So you get free unlimited data for that. And as if that wasn't enough, they came out with something called T-Mobile One, which is their newest plan which now they're giving you 26 gigabytes a month. A month. Now, they do market it as unlimited. Um, I do have to call bullshit on that because it is limited up to 26 gigabytes of free 4G LTE data every month. Um, after 26 gigs, then they're going to deprioritize your traffic and you're gonna be at 2G speeds. Now, before you freak out about that, the reason they're able to market that is unlimited because you gotta be a truly savage user like myself. I mean, I do a lot of watching movies, streaming, uploading content all the time, uh, and I don't come close to 26 gigs. So, I don't think I can blow through 26 gigs. And when I tell you I'm a savage user, I mean, I'm straight getting nasty with it. Um, you gotta, you gotta like really try hard to, to bust 26 gigs. So that's that. Um, on top of the, the, the Ben John, the T-Mobile one, they've also came out with something that's called T-Mobile Tuesday. Now on T-Mobile Tuesday, what they do is just for being a customer, um, T-Mobile's gonna thank you. And the way they thank you is uh, they give out free Wendy's, free Domino's, I've had Subway, uh, Lyft rides up to $15, um, movie passes, all kinds of stuff. Sorry about that, I had to knock at my door. So anyway, um, T-Mobile Tuesday, what are they doing? They're giving you free movie passes, free movie rentals on like Vudu. Now the passes were to get into like the movie theaters, but they also do like Fandango, where you can stream movies online on your TV. Um, they do Vudu movies. I've gotten magazine subscriptions. They gave me this cool shirt. You know, it says, uh, get thanked. And then on the back, it's got uh, T-Mobile Tuesday, get free stuff every Tuesday. This is one of three shirts that they came out with. Um, so, I mean, I like it. I mean, so as far as like price and everything, yes, if you're an individual, um, T-Mobile's T-Mobile One plan probably isn't the best plan for you because it starts at $70. Uh, for the first line now if you add a second line um, That now it goes down to $50 for the second line and then if you add any lines after that It's only $20. So especially if you're like a family and you've got teenagers. I mean teenagers use a lot of data um, At that point. Yeah, it's totally worth it. It's the best deal in wireless bar none all these other carriers everything you're seeing as far as like AT&T tried to come out with its copycat version of T-Mobile Tuesday um now, after AT, I'm sorry. After T-Mobile announced the whole thing with the no more of the uh, contracts, and they let you finance the phones, um, now the other carriers are starting to do that. But it's all they're playing catch up and uh, follow the leader. Now, another thing. Let's uh, think about this. T-Mobile was also the first ones to introduce something called Jump on Demand, 
What is jump on demand? Well, what that is, is it used to be you had to wait, you know, you buy a phone, you gotta wait now two years to upgrade that. So it really sucks when you're not like hit to the game and you don't understand, you know, all these different phones that are out, you don't follow like I do. So you go to the store and you cop that brand new iPhone 6S or brand new for you. Now, so you're all, you're cool, you're happy, you know, because you just got your iPhone, but guess what? <laughs> Three months later, they dropped the iPhone 7. Now you're like, damn, well, here I am. I'm stuck with a second generation phone, and I gotta wait two years before I can upgrade this? Not a T Mobile. You know, with Jump On Demand, you can get a new phone as, you know, uh, up to twice per year. You can trade in your phone and get whatever phone you want. Now, what they do now is, you know, being that they don't do the contracts anymore, you know, they let you finance the phone. Whereas before, uh, the carriers would subsidize the cost of the device based on you committing to a two-year agreement. Now they say, hey, there's no agreement, you know, you just pay for the phone and you can cancel it at any time and if you leave before the phone's paid off, you just owe whatever the amount is on that phone. So Jump On Demand kind of rescued that. So now you finance your, you know, your phone, you know, you can lease it. Um, and you start making payments on it. Now, if you have a phone and you've had it for three months and a new phone comes out and you want that, you just go right into the T-Mobile store and you say, hey, I wanna to jump to this phone over here. Well, at that point, you hand them your old phone, they forgive the remaining balance that's on that phone and they just start you off with a brand new lease on the new phone. So it kind of puts an end to that. You can always stay with the latest and greatest. I mean, I always have to have the hottest phone um, right now I'm rocking a uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Uh, the only reason I didn't upgrade to the S7 was because they took away the infrared blaster and I like to control my TV, air conditioning, and things in my house uh, you know, with that infrared remote. And I was gonna get that um, Galaxy Note 7, which kinda had, you know, it's now dubbed the Fireball, so I didn't wanna go there, so I'm gonna wait till uh, March or April to come when Samsung drops that uh, S8. But I mean, that's just, that, that's me. I always gotta have the latest and greatest, and I wanna be with the best. And right now, hands down, in South Florida, Broward County, in that 954 area, um, T-Mobile is 100% hands down the best. If anybody thinks they can dare touch that, I mean, this is what I know, and I come at you not with my opinion, but with facts, research, and data. So please, if you can rebut me on this, I'd love to have a debate with you. So that's my take on that. I hope this answers your question about who the best carrier is. And, uh, and by the way, if you do want to switch to uh, T-Mobile, um, they will pay off any remaining balance that you owe on your device from another carrier, and they will also pay the um, early termination fees on your contract. So you tell me what's the best deal out there. It's T-Mobile. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like it, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you when I see you.